Hey everyone, so we are looking at Mpumalanga, June 2023. School governing body wants to pave the area for the gate to the staff room and to the classes. They instructed the principal to get quotations for paving breaks from different service providers. Now before we go on any further quotations that is a financial document with prices uh, that tell you how much something is going to cost um, or if it's a service how much the cost of the service will be sometimes it's the service and the price put together okay so the following prices per paving brick in rand included vet were quoted so the quotations included this the first quotation had a brick that cost three rand 91 the second one had 345 the second one had a 326 brick and so on and so forth so as you can see each shop quoted a different price Okay, so use the information um, above to answer the questions that follow. 1.1.1 says, arrange in ascending order the prices mentioned above. Hmm, arranging numbers with commas. Let's look at the numbers again. They all, they all start with three. So we're going to look at the other side of the comma to find the smallest number. I see 325, but I'm just going to try 320. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Ooh, found you. That's my number one. 309. I'm just going to quickly check if there's anything that's less than 309. No. So any 310s? No. Any 311s? No. 312s? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, there's a 320 next. 321, no, there's no 321. 322, no, there's no 322. 323, nope. 324, nope. 325, yes, there's number three with 325. Okay, so... I know what I'm going to change. I'm going to use alphabets A, B, C. Ha! In alphabetical order. Okay, 325, 326. Ha! There's 326. Oh, D. Any other 326? Okay, 327. No, 328. No, 331, 332, 334, 5, 6, 7, 8, no such thing, 9, 340, no, 341, 342, 344, 345, there we go, A, B, C, D, E, <laughs> this is good, okay, so we're going to look for F, 346, 347, 350. Oh, there's 350. So FG. Okay, we're going to look for G. 351, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. 356, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. No. 3, 5, 6. No. 3, 5, 6, 6, 1. No. 3, 5, 6, 2. No. 3, 5, 6, 3. Okay, this one is the next one. You can tell. 35367 three, no 38 three, there's 38 three, is there any other 38 no so this would be then a b c h g h i okay you don't have to do that you can every time you you, uh, you identify one and write it and cross it out so 309 is the smallest let me just i'm just going to check if they said from the smallest um ascending here we are so remember uh, I always, I memorized it this way. Descending is decrease. 0 0.09 and the other 3.20. And the next one was 3.25 and 3.26 and 3.2, 3. ABC, D, E, 345. F um three point five zero and G G G G three point six five three point eight five and three point nine one identify the second highest price. So if we start from the highest, 
there's the highest we can use our arranged numbers or we can come back here and set over no problem we can come here and say what is the highest number here 391 any 39 no any 3 um, eight nine so we're counting backwards three eight nine so i'm just going to use my arranged numbers and say this is the second height so this is the first right first in line this one will be the second highest if we're coming from highest so that would be 3.85 and then we're going to go is the data in the price of the prices discrete or continuous of course now we're going to have to remind ourselves what is discrete data and continuous data not forgetting that discrete and continuous data is also known as numerical where you compare numerical and categorical where there's numerical and categorical. So here with the numerical, numerical data can be measured or counted. So one of these can be measured and one of these can be counted. So continuous data can be measured, discrete data can be counted. So uh, this one is discrete. Discrete data. All right, so determine the mode of the collected prices ha 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 what is the mode so first let's find out what the mode let's remind ourselves what the mode is a mode is the number as my grade 10 say the mode is the number that appears the most they get that from grade 8 and 9 i think they're like what is the mode do you guys know what a mode is the mode is the number that appears the most so i leave it like that i never give them any other definitions okay uh, so let's find the number that appears the most here. I these are all individual numbers. There's no number that goes that that are the same um, here. So there is no mode. I hope I'm not going um, so fast that I'm missing things. Okay, so how many quotes for paving bricks were received from the service provider? Remember, they said that the following prices per paving brick were quoted. So these prices were quoted. So I said the principal got quotations for paving bricks, and this is what he got. So one shop said this, and another shop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine shops. Which means nine quotes. Okay, suppliers. Right, and then now we're going to look at 1.2. Petro Shabangu bought a material from a local hardware store. Anisha A shows the invoice of a patch of the patches. Now, before we continue, invoice. Before we talked about quotations, which is just showing you the cost of something. And the invoice now is going to show you what you owe. Right, so if you um, take material from a shop, they're going to give you an invoice and they show you what you owe, what you're supposed to pay. Not what it costs, but what you are supposed to pay. All right, so use Annexure A to answer the questions that follow. Let's look at Annexure A. So here is our darling Annexure A, which is a cash build invoice for Petros Shabangu. And there's a big name there, cash build name of the shop, and they are details. 24 November, there's a delivery number and a del invoice number. And um, Jubane Secondary School. So all of this is taken and, and sent to the school Uh with the invoice saying because you're taking these items here's how much you're owing us right okay so it's called sent to njubane school and the school is at utokozane and this is the contact number for the school the materials are here that were taken by the school and these are the quantity now if you were just read even if you didn't understand what quantity means quantity means number of yeah you know like for example um the quantity of sand in a, 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 a in a in a truck so that means the size of the sand so the size of the wheelbarrows here the number of the wheelbarrows here is three right so a unit price excluding vet so there's no vet there on those prices um 
then that's 579.98 lovely and then the cost so let's look at this price here it says unit price that means price per item one wheelbarrow one wheelbarrow costs 579.98 it says there it also says it's not including the 15 percent vet so you will also have to add the vet um somewhere and then it says cost in rent so the total cost then for all of them if one then three is this much and then we find cement there which is 50 kilograms and they say quantity we don't know how many bags but we know that one bag is 96 rent and 95 cents and we also know that um the total of all these bags so what we're going to do is we're going to say we know that one bag is equal to 96 rand and 95 cents and then we say what do we not know we also know that a number of bags is 1939 rands but we don't know what, how much, the, how many of these bags are, and then we can cross multiply. Or we can say, what if we divide? Let's take ninety six rand and put it aside. Take another ninety six rand, put it aside. Take another, cut another ninety six rand and ninety five cents there. Put it on the side. Cut another ninety six rand. But we can do this through calculation. Where we can say one thousand nine hundred and thirty nine rand. Cut this money into pieces of 96 rand and 95 how many pieces do you get and then we'll get a see how nice that is okay and then we have a total here the total we have a sub total that just means even though we've added everything and gotten a total we're still going to do something we're not done that's why we put sub and then um uh, we have vet so we added VET and then we get amount payable. Okay, so write down the stand number of the purchaser. Ha! Ah, stand number of the purchaser. There it is. Stand number 859. 859B. I hope you saw that. And then um, it says... Calculate the value of A, the total number of 50 kilogram bags of cement PPC that they bought. Okay, we already did this. We're going to take um, one bag because we know how much that bag is. And we're going to cross multiply and find the number of bags that we don't know. Or we can take the total amount of the bags, cut it into pieces of 96 rand and 95 cents. And then we'll see how many pieces we get. I like that one. 1.2.2 it doesn't matter which one you do 1939 rands divided by 96 rand and 95 cents will give us the number of bags see doesn't matter in what sequence you think all that is required is a little bit of thinking one nine three nine divided by 96 rand divided by 96 rand and 95 cents oh i'm feeling very sleepy it must be the flu i also took allergic so i don't know what's going on but i noticed now that the, the uh, and my neck is gone so this could have been allergy it was too much if it was allergy okay so um oh, i forgot which channel i'm talking to <laughs> started having a conversation with myself uh least two ways in which uh the company can be reached okay so there's a stand number there where you can go and reach them in person but I'm, I'm worried that's not what they're asking. You can write them a letter through the address, physical address, and it can be sent there to their office. Or you can telephone them or you can send an email. So I'm going to write the ones you guys know of. <laughs> email. And telephone. Or shall I say phone? Because you guys know phone. 
<laughs> you can't send a WhatsApp on this one. 1.2.4. So on 1.2.4, define the term invoice in this context. Okay. So invoice, invoice, invoice. Like I remember what I said. An invoice is a compilation uh, uh, of finances for um, items that are to be paid for. So remember, we can't say services to be rendered here because there's only items to be paid. So it's a compilation of um, compilation of I. A, it's a financial a document that is compiled with items and prices that are to be paid for 1.2.5 i'm too lazy to write <laughs> um how show how the subtotal amount of 6364 rent and 10 cent was calculated Let's go find the price first. Let's go find this price. So they say show how the subtotal. So I already know we're going to look for a subtotal. And so we're going to see where it come, where comes from. And uh, this amount here was calculated. So basically they're saying there's this amount which was calculated. Go start over and calculate it again. And that's the amount here. Well, it does already say total. So I they added something. Uh, they added all these amounts and that's what they got. So they just want us to just rewrite everything. So subtotal, as we are starting from the beginning, is equal to 1,739 rands and 94 cents plus 1,939 rands plus 1,119 rands and 96 cents plus 1,565 rands and 20 cents plus and then we and then we get the answer okay which is 63,000 6 cents. 6, and then we're going to say 1.2.6 double check with your calculator there before you continue guys please make sure that you take these questions and you do them yourself on your own um just look at the marks there at the bottom this one is 28 go to your calculator and say 28 multiplied by 1.2 like that so you're gonna say 28 times 1.2 and it'll tell you the time so this one will be just rounding off this one will be 34 minutes now it's time yourself and do this question time yourself and do this question and then watch the videos and see where you lag so that you know right if you're still having problems with numerical and categorical data then that's what you need to go and look for on the internet right and then um if you're looking for it on the internet if you're looking from the textbook then the textbook if you don't know financial documents you will find out from this that you don't know how financial documents by answering them first and then watching the document the, the the questions um that's the what the revision is about So let's do what does the acronym VET stand for? Lovely. Value added tax. That's the tax that is charged from businesses, and businesses just charge from the products. Um, value added tax is, is, is charged on, 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 pri on prices and goods. Um, is charged on services provided and on goods, right? It's collected from businesses. This kind of tax is collected from businesses. It's charged on on, on goods and services rendered. Um, show how the VET amount was calculated. Okay, now we're going to go here. They're saying, how was this VET amount calculated? Now, before you say they said this and that, minus that, and then you get that, that'll be wrong. Remember... They say show how it was calculated, which means there was none of this, right? We had this, and then we found the VET, and then we had the total. But what? how did we find the VET before we had this amount here? Don't, so let's not count this amount here. If you use this amount, then you're not answering the questions. 
Had it just said A and it said find vet, and you would have been said you have, you you would arrive to the same answer as somebody who used fifteen percent. So you would say this amount minus that amount, and then it would give you vet, right? Or you multiply by fifteen percent and you get vet. But this particular question is very specific because it says show how it was calculated which means before we got to the amount payable we had the subtotal we didn't have the vet we didn't have the amount payable how did we get the vet and then that's how it's saying it says there vet is 15 percent right and it's not included here therefore we need to calculate it to find the 15 percent we just multiply this number by 15 percent i hope i didn't go blah 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 on that one mm, so vet here is equal to uh, 6,364 rands and 10 cents multiplied by 15%. So if we just multiply by 15% and we don't multiply by 115%, we are going to get only the 15%, only the VAT. And that was a lovely one. Let me check how much you get so that you see if we round off 6,364 rands and 10 cents. Uh, and 10 cents multiply by 15 divide by 100 and you get 954 rands and 61 cents 61 615 they rounded off 54954.62 ah that's a 6662 that's how they got it write down the amount payable in words Ha, come on now here's the amount payable let's read it from there uh this is the units so from the comma there that's 72 cents this is money we're not going to say 72 so that's 72 cents so that's 8 rand 72 cents that's 18 rand 72 cents that's 318 rand and 72 cents that's a space which means that's a thousand there seven thousand 318 rents and 72 cents and that was the last question one for all our question one since we're still looking for other question papers but for now that's the last one and uh, soon we'll be doing question two look out for that